I was uh, so I was parking here, and I noticed that all these casinos have handicapped parking spots, right? Which is funny when you think about it, right? So let's face it, folks. If you're handicapped, hasn't God made it abundantly clear that you're not lucky? <laughs> I'm not being a jerk, I'm just saying, you know, you kind of want to waste all that luck at the crafts table, you know, you kind of want to hold on to some of that for a new kidney or whatever. You know, they're not, they're not giving out libs at the roulette wheel. It's all cool, all right. I was driving here too, uh, the oldie station, they were playing a, one of my favorite songs, Big Girls Don't Cry. You ever heard that song before? Big Girls Don't Cry. It's a classic oldie, which I think is incorrect, because in my experience, I find that big girls cry quite often, and for a variety of different reasons, right? You know, like, maybe their ice cream fell on the ground. Maybe they went to hug a puppy, but they accidentally killed it. Man. Maybe they got sad and tried to kill themselves, but the rope snapped because they were too heavy. I gotta say, there's reasons, right? There's definitely reasons why a big girl might cry. I was on Facebook today too, and I, you know they have those articles on Facebook like which Disney princess are you and all that nonsense? Well, there was an article today. It was fun facts about the Disney princess. I don't know if you know this, but I learned this today. In all of the original Disney movies, the princesses, they were like 16 years old. Did you know that? Yeah, they were teenagers. Which makes sense when you think about it, you know, because no man is going to risk his life fighting a dragon for a 30-year-old woman, you know? Like... There's a lot of 30-year-old women in here tonight. That's... that's, that's I don't know if you're aware of this. I wouldn't even get a full-time job for a 30-year-old woman, right? let alone fight the forces of evil, right? But if somebody told you there was a smoking hot teenage princess who you could legally bang if you kill a dragon, man, we would all be out hunting dragons right now, right? Like, that might be why there's no dragons anymore, you know? Maybe, maybe people caught on to the whole uh, kill a dragon, hook up with a teenager policy. I recently saw that uh, the new Power Rangers movie, they did a remake of the old uh, Power Rangers, the original. Yeah, and if you're not familiar with the original, it was very famous back in the day for the way that they cast the characters, right? Because, like, you might remember this, the Black Ranger was a black guy. Mm -hmm. Sound familiar, right? The Yellow Ranger was an Asian girl. Right? And then everybody would joke and say that the Red Ranger was Native American, which he was not. He was just a white dude. We just wanted that to be true, right? But in this new one, they wanted to avoid all this. What they did is they made the Blue Ranger a black guy, they made the Black Ranger an Asian guy, and they made the Yellow Ranger a Latina girl, right? Because what they wanted to do was show that like all races can do anything except be the leader. Because that guy's still white. They didn't change that stuff. Right? Like, Actually, they made that dude wider than he was in the original, just to really prove a point, you know? And, well, it's, it's messed up. It's 2018. We can have a black leader of the Power Rangers, right? Yeah! Three people, and the rest of you are like, nah. It's, we're all right with that. Folks, that's not even a real organization, all right? There's no, there's no, it's not real. You're racist. You can still support that. It won't change it. It's uh, 2018 now. We have a new president, Donald Trump. How do you guys feel about the new president? Hmm? Oh, we're gonna stay on this one for a second. But uh, are they, uh, some people hate the guy, some people love the guy. I'm not the biggest fan of Donald Trump in the world, but I also wasn't the biggest fan of Obama. So I feel like that balances itself out, you know. So kind of like, I'll tell you the difference, though, is that I respected Obama as like a dude, right? Because he looked the part, he dressed the part, he acted. Like, if aliens landed and I had to take them to meet Obama, I could live with that, right? But, if aliens landed today and they were like, take me to your leader. Yeah, and you're like, you sure you want to do that? So, this uh, might not go the way you think this is going to go. I can take you over to Fremont Street and introduce you to SpongeBob. You sure you wouldn't rather, sure you wouldn't rather meet a homeless uh, SpongeBob guy out there? Because, yeah, if you haven't noticed, we don't have SpongeBob SquarePants on Fremont Street, but we do have SpongeBob Poopedest Pants out there, right? That's, that's, I'm reading a good book right now. It's called Hide and Seek for Dummies by Anne Frank. 
Hey, look, I brought everybody back. That's awesome. Oh, here's a fun subject. I recently got engaged, everybody. How's that? All right. Three people are excited about love, and then some people are just here with a mistake that they made 20 years ago. All right. That's, 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 I'm excited about it. My girlfriend said she wants to get a wedding ring tattoo. You ever heard of that before? A wedding ring tattoo? It's, it's like instead of getting a wedding ring, you get a tattoo on your ring finger. You know, and I was like, are you nuts? A tattoo is for life. <laughs> oh, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> I'll say this, uh, my girlfriend wants to have kids, and uh, I'm not a big fan of children, I don't like kids, and uh, this is a sad joke that the universe has played on me. Uh, I don't like kids, but I'm poor, which means that I'll probably end up having a ton of children in my lifetime, right? That's just the way it works, right? Yeah. That's the way society is set up. If you're poor, it's very hard not to have children, right? You know, Birth control is expensive, condoms are like, what, $20 a box? Yeah, I'll use saran wrap and hope for the best, all right? I'm not gonna... A drop of 20 so I get laid in my own apartment, right? And now to add insult to injury, they keep the condoms locked up behind a glass case like you're buying a video game or something, right? You have to muster all your courage to ask some teenager for permission so you can get it on later that night, you know? Right? I think this is a negative policy because essentially what the store is saying when they keep the condoms locked up is that they don't want poor people stealing safe sex. Now let's face it, folks, anybody who would steal a condom is probably somebody who should be using a condom, right? So just... Let him have it, Albertsons. Jesus Christ. All right, that's it for me. Thank you very much, everybody.